Hi guys, welcome back to channel. This is second part of name reaction. I uploaded one part one name reaction. If you not see that video, then I will put link below in description box, so you can see that video. So let's start the video. First name reaction is Woods reaction. Statement of that alkyl halide or al haloalkene react with metallic sodium in presence of dry ether to form alkene. Means in Woods reaction, there are two al haloalkenes react with sodium metal. Catalyst is dry ether, it forms alkene. So, general reaction is twice Rx plus 2Na. In presence of dry ether, it gives alkene, means RR plus twice NaX. Example is CH3Br plus twice Na plus CH3Br in presence of dry ether. NaBr is a byproduct and CH3CH3 ethene is formed. So, it is Wood's reaction. Swartz reaction. Swartz reaction is a reaction in which alkyl fluoride are formed when alkyl bromide or chloride react with metal fluoride. Means, in this reaction, alkyl fluoride is product and alkyl bromide or chloride is a react reactant which react with metal fluoride so this is example of uh, swartz reaction in which ch3br means methyl bromide react with agf uh, by heating ch3f means methyl fluoride is formed and agbr is as a byproduct swartz reaction conversion of one alkyl fluoride to Another alkyl fluoride is takes place. Here, methyl bromide is converted into methyl fluoride in this reaction. Third, Fittig reaction. Fittig reaction is similar to Wood's reaction. Earlier, we saw Wood's reaction. In that reaction, alkyl halide converts into alkene, and in Wood Fittig reaction, aryl halides are converted into diphenyls. So statement of aryl halide is al sorry statement of Fittig reaction is aryl halides are react with metallic sodium in presence of dry ether it forms diphenyl means product is diphenyls aryl halide is reactant and dry ether is as a catalyst so reaction is twice of benzyl bromide react with twice Na it forms diphenyl in presence of dry ether and NaBr as a byproduct so this NaBr as a byproduct then Clemenson's reduction Clemenson reduction is a reduction of ketone or aldehyde to corresponding alkene using zinc amalgam and concentrated uh, HCl means hydrochloric acid so in Clemenson's reduction ketone and aldehyde are reactant reduction of ketone and aldehyde to corresponding alkene means alkenes are product and using zinc amalgam and concentrated HCl zinc amalgam and concentrated HCl are catalyst So, a reaction is acetaldehyde is converted into ethane in presence of zinc amalgam and HCl and H2O is removed. So, here aldehyde is reduced in alkene and second one is acetone is converted into propane 
in presence of zinc amalgam and hcl so here ketone is converted into their corresponding uh, alkane means propane so in clemenson's reduction ketone or aldehyde are converted into alkane in presence of zinc amalgam and concentrated hcl ulk krishna reduction ulk krishna reduction is sim similar to clemenson's reduction in this reduction aldehyde and ketone is converted into alkane also in we saw clem in Clem clemenson's reduction aldehyde and ketones are converted into alkane but their zinc amalgam and concentrated hcl is catalyzed but here hydrogen and koh or potassium tertiary butoxide is a catalyst so statement of wolf kishner reduction is aldehyde and ketone when heated with hydrogen and koh or potassium tertiary butoxide in high boiling solvent such as ethylene glycol or diethylene glycol gives alkane so in this reaction aldehyde and ketone are act as a reactant hydrogen koh or potassium tertiary uh, butoxides are act as a catalyst and alkane are the product so reaction is here ch3 cho acetaldehyde react with hydrogen removal of h2 takes place h and o so CH3 CH double bond and NH2 are formed then KOH and ethylene glycol is reacted then pre, uh, then ethene is uh, formed and N2 is evolved so aldehyde is converted into alkene second one is ketone acetone react with hydrogen h2o is removed here then this adduct is formed and react with koh and ethylene glycol then propane is formed and n2 is evolved so here also ketone ketone is converted into propane means ketone is converted into its corresponding alkene as we saw in clemenson's re reaction acetaldehyde converted into ethene and acetone is converted into propane in wolf kishner reduction also acetaldehyde converted into ethene and uh, ketone means acetone is converted into propane but there is difference of catalyst in clemenson's re reaction zinc amalgam is act as catalyst and in wolf kishner reaction uh, hydrogen and koh is act as catalyst so if you have any doubt about this then you can mention it in comment box thank you for watching this video